is uh, above or around 8.5 it is high up you have to go by for either the, the, the double drug or the triple drug combination dual drug or triple drug the best combination being the 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 the, the extra pancreatic uh, mechanism of action we have with uh, metformin the combination of bcld2 and the combination of uh, this particular uh, dpp4 inhibitor they they are they, they don't act on pancreas they don't squeeze out the insulin unlike the sulfonylureas the patient doesn't get, get into a stage called pancreatic bankruptcy and you can give rest to pancreas so this is the best combination even in the newly detected patient where the affordability is not a problem you can start with the lifestyle modification diet and exercise the weight reduction cessation of smoking and cessation of alcohol that is uh, the therapeutic lifestyle changes along with the lifestyle modification you can always go for the combination of uh, the metformin uh, the 1000 mg uh, bd and uh, with uh, the, the empagliflozin 25 mg bar this uh, linagliptin 5 mg combination so that uh, it it minimizes the beta cell apoptosis so it minimizes the pancreatic bankruptcy and uh, it minimizes the complications in the long run see these are all the benefits uh, and the pa patient uh, the, the a1c becomes normal and the weight uh, goes down drastically and the bp is stabilized uh, and in the long run the patient has got the benefits what i have mentioned uh, the cardio renal benefits uh, is going to enjoy even the liver also liver benefits also i have told uh, the naf and the nash i think that is clear Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. If you have any question, please you can continue. Yeah, please one by one. Please one by one. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I am getting echo. Please. Yeah, you can start your question. You can unmute and you can shoot your question. In the case of newly detected, please with AOC mode eight. Can we start with insulin in the beginning only? See, there is a there is a funda called early initiation of insulin. There is nothing wrong in, in initiating insulin in the very early stage. The reason being again giving rest to the pancreas, and without the metformin, I don't advise you to start insulin. If you want to start insulin, a basal insulin. you can start with metformin and a basal insulin even in the new newly detected patients where the a1c is 8 there is a concept called early initiation of insulin that preserves the pancreatic beta cell function that 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 preserves the beta cells functioning beta cells and that 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 avoids beta cell apoptosis even at the a1c of 8 you can use and one more point i would like to highlight irrespective of the a1c you can add the sglt2 inhibitor to the metformin keeping the benefits of sglt2 inhibitor though the a1c is 7 still you can start a sglt2 inhibitor because that is not going to let you down with hypoglycemia if at all you want to start insulin at that particular stage please start metformin and a basal insulin is sufficient is that clear to bring a diabetic remission thing only hello is that a one question yeah please yes yeah well, he was asking about diabetic remission actually one one is that Therapy. Empagliflozin and Dinamic. How long will it? How long? 
ಪಾಡನ್ If A1C, if A1C takes it, come down, the combination then, sir. How can you they demotivate? They can See, you, no, there is no drug in the treatment of type 2 diabetes as far as the oral medication is concerned. No drug can get back to the normalcy of A1C of 7 within a month. See, that, that. it's 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 uh, not possible at all okay we have for 3 months but you have to wait for 3 months you uh, cannot measure you see down, see i tell you you cannot measure even see weekly or monthly you have to measure according to the ada guidelines you have to measure at least twice in a year is enough so if the patient is able to afford to measure his even see you measure four times in a year because a1c is the you said what what about fasting is bp sugar will they come down pardon what about fat and bp sugar will they yeah come down? they 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 eventually fasting come down they they slowly come down they slowly come down within a month okay okay but 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 to reduce the a1c okay. it takes okay. around 3 to 6 months okay. yeah patient will get the results within a month definitely So definitely the fasting is going to become normal okay. the post prandial is going to become normal but for the a1c to become normal we should give at least 3 months because a1c is the main plasma glucose of the preceding 90 days okay yeah somebody was asking about diabetes and okay. remission thank you so much yeah you most welcome ma'am any questions please Madhu, are there any questions in the chat box? Madhu, are there any questions in the chat box? With early initiation, should we play? Can we have diabetic remission within 6 months? No, you cannot expect diabetes remission within 6 months, but with early initiation of insulin, you can, you can, uh prolong the ba pancreatic bankruptcy and the beta cell apoptosis you can you can tackle the glucotoxicity in a much much better way but remission is uh, altogether it's a different topic it's a debatable topic actually whether really the remission happens or not uh, is a debatable topic it's it's still going on with diet and exercise whether one is able to reverse diabetes it's a debatable topic and so far there is no uh they 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 are confounding uh, uh, the the evidence based medicine saying that uh, they they there is remission so far no 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 international bodies or the national bodies have said that uh, the remission is there with uh, diet and exercise or even with any drug also there is a condition called honeymoon wherein the patients uh, uh, suffering from type 1 bc sometimes uh, the patient they they become normal without insulin and sometimes we see that honeymoon in type 2 also where without any medicines the patient will be normal for some time and later on eventually they need that the medicines that is honeymoon that is honeymoon is totally different from remission remission is altogether a different terminology remission is always a debatable issue honeymoon is a proven one you have got uh, uh, the evidence based medicine for that yeah next question please 
No, you discontinue the treatment again, uh, they, they shoot up, right? You cannot discontinue the treatment. You can, you can, if the patient is complaining of hypoglycemia and you are noticing the levels uh, decreasing day by day, you can reduce the dose or you can take off one molecule, but you cannot discontinue. Once you discontinue again, the, the, the ominous octate is always there throughout the life. I have told the, the eight problems, the pathophysiological defects, the eight pathophysiological defects postulated by Ralph, Professor Ralph Anthony DiFranjo. See, that is always there. And once you stop the drugs, again it rebounds. So, once diabetic, is diabetic? No, I don't say that. I don't say that per se. But, but, with, with stringent diet and exercise, many of my patients are not using any drugs, but they need constant whistling. That's it. They should be under constant vigilance. Yeah. I, I, I have hundreds of patients. I have hundreds of patients who are not taking any medicine. Earlier, they used to take so many medicines. Now, with the stringent diet and exercise, weight reduction, cessation of alcohol and cessation of smoking. They are not on drugs, but uh, we have to monitor them very regularly. At any point of time, they may again shoot up. So, monitoring is uh, of very, very, uh, like, is of paramount importance. Monitoring the fasting, monitoring the post plunge, monitoring the HPA1C, the, the glycemic triad must be monitored uh, throughout life. Like most of the times what you see after GDM, 50% of the cases progress onto diabetes and 50% they have remission. Even though there is remission, we monitor the patients. Definitely for the uh, any sudden rise of blood sugar, even the post GDM also, they, they, they all the uh, post GDM patients, they require constant monitoring. Any questions please? Any questions, you can please unmute yourself and ask. So, if there are no questions, I think we can wind up this session.